Hello, everyone. This is Aaron, and this is the Oxrageous Post Game Podcast for Florida and Vanderbilt. Well, our Gators did tonight what they're supposed to do, and that is to um, beat pretty handily uh, by far the worst team in the SEC. You're talking about a Vanderbilt team that got beaten by 30 to Temple, and uh, a couple of weeks ago managed to squeeze by Charleston Southern 21 to 20. So we did what we were supposed to do, and this was even a revenge game. If you can imagine how embarrassing that is. We're going to beat Vanderbilt in a revenge game. It's just a new era of Gator football. And I wish I could say I was excited about the win, but I'm not in the least. The game was a yawner. I'm more upset about the apathy in the Gator Nation. After Florida got crushed on homecoming a couple weeks ago, people turned it off. They went away. They stopped being interested. I mean, I run a Gator message board, so I can easily tell how many people come to the site before and after kind of thing. And there was a, a 30% drop-off from a Missouri weekend to Georgia weekend. And even after the win against Georgia, which was unexpected, there was no uptick. No one came back. And it just keeps on trending down. And there was no one around on Gator Chatter tonight watching this game. I mean, it's, it's like we're down to the few diehards left. It's just sad. It's sad to me. It's not just Gator Chatter. It's all the board. And the fan base has tuned out. And I think it's going to be that way the rest of the year, no matter how we finish. Maybe we'll get a few more people that show up to talk about the FSU game. I don't know. But Saturdays used to be so exciting. You used to wake up in the morning and think to yourself, it's game day right off. And your whole day would be what's leading up to that game. And no one feels that way right now. There was debate all week. Will they let Treon Harris throw the ball? And yeah, they let him throw a little bit tonight. Threw downfield, completed a couple long passes. It's good to see. It really is. But was it a fun offense to watch? Of course not. Not at all. And if Vanderbilt even had a pulse, then it probably would have been a different game. But I'm not complaining about a win. That's not what I'm talking about. It was a dead stadium. It was so quiet in there, you could hear fans talking to each other in the stands. I just have never seen so many people not care and that includes myself i don't get upset and yell at the games anymore do you who is still doing that and i keep hearing oh what could have been if we'd started treon harris all year it would have been much of a difference if we'd started harris earlier in the year he would have been held down by this offensive philosophy anyway they wouldn't have let him do anything i'm surprised they let him pass as much as they did tonight i really am Now they've added a new wrinkle where they're putting Jeff Driscoll in to run the Wildcat. It's obviously a measure just to get him on the field, throw him a bone. Maybe Muschamp feels bad for him. I don't know. But it doesn't work. It's a dumb play. Now, I could say a lot more, but I've decided to stop there. It's pointless. And no one listens to these podcasts anymore anyway. (laughs) So let's move on to South Carolina. See how we do from there. Everybody have a good week and go Gators.